this is a little bit more about Matt Gates. Will he go to jail? Just that simple. Is he going to go to jail? So if you like the video, I hope you do like it. And if you have subscribed, I hope you do subscribe. And thank you very, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So there's just a lot of questions about this fella, and the, the most important one is, is will he be nailed? Will he go to jail for uh, for what he, they've suspected that he's done, trafficked a young uh, woman for sex? So that's the question that we'll ask. So I'm not going to go back over all the detail of, of all the is, um, history of Matt uh, Gates's life. I'll just uh, capsulize it to say he was raised in the house where the Truman Show was filmed. His father was a senator uh, in uh, or uh, a politician in Florida for many, many years. Uh, his family are born of immigrants to the United States from another country. And uh, his best friend uh, uh, and uh, wingman, uh, Joel Greenberg, is coughing up uh, everything he can to try to lighten his sentence with the authorities. And he's dragging Look, look, looks like lots of people into it with him. And poor Ginger Lucky, what, a, what an unfortunate name for her. And well, now, of course, she's Ginger Gates, isn't she? So uh, the, the woman that he eloped with, instead of having a nice, beautiful, uh, lavish wedding like she would have expected at Mar-a-Lago with Trump and, and uh, Elvis impersonators there to officiate. Insane. If you don't have all this information, look for some of my previous videos on Matt Gates, and you'll get it all in detail. But the question here is, is he going to do it? Okay, right. so this is the Essential Tarot book and card set and it's um the box got smashed in delivery and it's a typical little uh it's not much to, sp to speak about actually in the box itself um i don't know i guess it's good enough um it tells you a little bit here that's just pretty boilerplate and it's published by uh peter pauper press so i was i'll just show you the cards this since it got smashed this doesn't stay up like it should uh inside the box of course you get the box of the cards and you get this little uh, booklet, which tells you, um, you know, how to divide the cards. If you were going to give it as a gift, it's got a nice little place here where you can, you know, address it to and from. And uh, a nice little uh, jacket to keep the book in good condition. And then the book itself is just pretty standard. It has a couple of uh, spreads that you can use for the tarot. There's no special message in here. And it's got very standard divinations. It is a full-color book, and it's easy to read. So that's good. And I think this set is actually geared towards uh, beginners. And so uh, as far as that's concerned, then everything is perfect uh, so far because it's very clear uh, to understand. And, um, and so there you go. Uh, we'll put this back here for a second, and then we'll talk about the cards. So the cards uh, come in, again, just in a little uh, cardboard box. Uh, this is a uh, Hanson Roberts tarot deck, so that's who uh, designed it. 78 full-color cards complete with 22 major arcana, 56 minor. So, see, and card titles in five languages, uh, English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. So that's handy. Um, the box itself is, is not a big deal, actually. I mean, it's just a nice uh, little box. It has a, a hard piece of uh, cardboard to keep everything in line. It's got a couple of introductory cards that um, don't really... I don't know what they serve, to tell you the truth. But um, So I'll put that back. And then the cards. So this was kind of a disappointment. They're, they're, they're beautiful. They're, they're, they're nice-looking cards, but they're very... Uh, thin and cheap. They are made out of a kind of a, uh, a coated material. So the one thing I was glad about them is that they actually are very easy to use. They shuffle really nicely and the depictions on them are, are fine. You know, they're actually good, uh, clear, easy to understand depictions. And so I was disappointed with the quality of the cards when I opened up this deck and the, this came damaged and the cards were flimsy and I thought, well, these aren't going to be good. But the secret uh, uh, sauce here is that actually these cards are really, they shuffle really well. They're not hard to use in that respect. They fit easily into your hand. 
if you like kind of a, on the smaller side of a deck. And so, like I always say, I kind of spread them out like this so that you get a chance to see more of the cards than just a few that the, uh, the reader will pull when we're doing our, our reading. And uh, so that's uh, the Essential Tarot Book and Card Set. Really, I always think it's for beginners. It's by Hanson Roberts, and um, I think it's fine for the price, uh, about uh, $16 to $18, if I'm not mistaken. The question is, will Gates go to jail? Will Matt Gates do jail time? His wingman, Joel Greenberg, is already in. He's been in jail for a long time, uh, making deals with the feds, spilling his guts, turning over cell phone records, which they, you know, they, they have access to all of that stuff anyway. So that's going to be the simple question. We'll see if some more questions come out of, out of the story that the cards tell. But I just want to know, is he going to go to jail? Is he going to get out of it? Um, is it going to be because of, of what's uh, coming from Joel Greenberg? Because Joel Greenberg, his best buddy in Florida, was all about, I mean, he besides what he did as a tax collector, you know, he, he robbed people's identities. Um, he had the tax collectors in the office carrying arms. Um, and before that, he was involved in some real estate fraud that he actually is uh, being called up for. So, Matt Gates, is he going to do jail time? Six cards and anything else the cards can tell us. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Matt Gates, is he going to do jail time? This will be the first six cards of this Celtic Cross, and then we'll do uh, the last. Four. Do I have six cards out here? I think I do. Yeah. So six cards. Matt Gates. <coughs> is he going to do jail time? The signifier card for this is the Six of Cups. Okay. So the Six of Cups, uh, you know, cups are about emotion, uh, passion, uh, heartfelt things. And uh, so this uh, Six of Cups always makes you harken back to a time when things were better. Okay, with well, these six six cups are all uh, planted in full bloom, and uh, you know look back on a more innocent time. So the signifier card of this as to whether Matt Gates will go to jail, interestingly, is the six of cups looking back at, back at a better time. Let's see how this flushes out. The challenge to that. Then this Eight of Pentacles. You know, the Eight of Pentacles is the fellow who is really honing his craft. You see, he's got all the tools on the table here. He's called the Apprentice a lot of times. And he's he's got all of the work up here that he's already done for display. He's just polishing up this last piece to put it up on that wall. And so it looks like he's really done his work and he's proud of it. So... So if this is Matt Gates wishing things were like they used to be, then is, is are these the feds with their case so perfectly worked out? The base of this reading, then, Matt Gates will do jail time. Look at that, the world card. This is the very last card of the Fool's Journey of the Major Arcana, number 21, the world. It is a complete cycle. Something else is going to start after this, but this is the complete cycle. It's the end. Huh. So that's interesting. Is this the end of freedom for Matt Gates? The um, past of this reading for Matt Gates will he do jail time is the Knight of Rods. And I always say that uh, rods or uh, wands, if you want to say, call them that, are um, action. They're plans. They're motions. They're moving forward. And the Knight is the fellow in the Royal Suite. Who, he's the guy who, who, he's the fighter. He's the fellow who's going to take what he's been given. In this case, he's been given a great big wand, a great big rod, an action, a plan, and he's going to carry it to fruition. Okay? So... That's what's in the past of this reading for Matt Gates. In the sky of this reading for Matt Gates, then, is the chariot. Wow. Okay, so the chariot is Major Arcana. This is the number seven in the uh, Fool's Journey, so it's quite a good way along on his trip. And uh, the uh, chariot makes us think about, you know, things happening fast. Like th things are coming down the track, okay, at us. And uh, this uh, charioteer looks very comfortable in his ride. Okay, these the this is this has come so close so far that the chariot is almost on top of us. We can't even see these beasts that are pulling the, the sphinx that are pulling the chariot forward because it's so close to us. So that's the sky of this. 
the likely outcome of the first part of this Celtic cross, Matt Gates will go to jail. Six of Pentacles, weighing things out. The Six of Pentacles, Pentacles are value or worth. They're seldom money. and uh, But this is, you know, weighing things out, making sure everything is distributed appropriately to whomever needs to get it. And are these the feds distributing the blame, the value of all that research that they've done, all the work that they've done? The uh, last four cards of this uh, will Matt Gates do jail time. The uh, self of that question, that question itself, will he do jail time? Uh, this is going to be the Seven of Rods. Okay, the Seven of Rods is always defending himself against these other actions, these other plans that are coming up against him. So this is Matt Gates. Okay, this, that's the self of that question. Will he do jail time? He's got to defend himself with everything he's got. And all he's got is this one plan as opposed to these other six uh, coming up against him. This one action as opposed to these other six actions. The environment that that's in, however is the Ace of Pentacles. That's a great big offer of value. Okay, it looks like the feds, so these cards have been reliably jumping back and forth between Matt and the feds to tell the story. And this looks like they have got everything that they need. They've got a great big offer of value. Okay, that's the environment that this is in. The um, hopes and the fears of this thing, so we'll see what this tells us is uh, the Seven of Cups. Okay, this is called Illusion and Delusion. This works for both Matt Gates or the Feds. For Matt Gates, this is hoping that he can throw up enough smokescreen, enough uh, illusion uh, and delusion that uh, he wiggles his way out of this. But for the Feds, it's looking like they've got all the choices that they need to make this thing happen. And uh, this uh, fellow is looking pretty confident in what he's got here. It makes me wonder if this doesn't more represent the Feds than it does Matt. Gates. Will he do jail time? The likely outcome of this whole thing for Matt Gates, will he do jail time, is right here in Justice. Man, you could not have a more fitting card to end this reading than Mother Justice. She's not blind anymore. Uh, she's holding up the uh, sword of truth and justice. She's got this weighed out on the scales, and I think justice will be served. Whatever that is, if that means jail time, I don't know. But it looks like justice is coming to find uh, Matt Gates. Well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.